Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Well, thank you for acknowledging my Thai member. Mr. Speaker, I stand today to express my unwavering support for this proposed pension bill. A cornerstone, Mr. Speaker, of our commitment to the people of St. Lucia. Mr. Speaker, first I would like to bring to your attention, based on the figures that was presented by the Honorable Prime Minister, and the relevance and the importance of the figures presented. Mr. Speaker, 2005, 2010, our country poverty survey would have established a poverty line. And our poverty line would be approximately $500 monthly. Mr. Speaker, there were approximately 20% of our population below the poverty line. But our, the construct of the poverty line includes food and non-food items. Mr. Speaker, persons who would have been on pension would have accumulated some non-food items. So whereas they're not below the poverty line in the aggregate measurement of poverty, but the income of below $300 and below $500 or $700 made them vulnerable, vulnerable to shocks, to hardships, an unwanted cancer patient in the family, a disaster fire, a hurricane experience. These shocks would take them down below the poverty line, even if they want. Mr. Speaker, it is a significant part of our population who are vulnerable to the incidence of becoming poor. And it is 24% above those who are below the poverty line. Mr. Speaker, the intervention made by this government to increase the pension amount and to promise to do so further it's not just an investment for the people now. It is not just the current pensioners who are benefiting. We are taking care of the future individuals because when it's time for them to seek for an improvement, the base at which they will be requesting, it will be at a different level. That's what's important. So when my time comes, and this is what I, I appreciate about the intervention. Sometimes we always do things, seeing it as if we're doing things for somebody else. But we are also doing it for each one of us, our children, when we make such an intervention. Why? Because of the vulnerability of our entire population to shocks, the war, the wars that are taking place over there that have nothing to do with us. According to the Prime Minister, usually laugh when he said we didn't fire not one gunshot in Ukraine. But the effects of the war, we feel it. The wars over there in the Middle East, and when the ships are unable to bring food to our shores, these shocks affect us. And every year, for six months of the year, we're exposed to the climatic issues of hurricanes. And when they do land, we experience it and it takes us down. So the investment, the increase in the pension for our people is an investment in the well-being of every St. Lucian, not just the immediate beneficiaries. It is not just a hundred persons who are benefiting from this. It is an investment to the entire population and all future persons who would one day be a pensioner. That is essential because we will be asking for an increase when it comes on a new base. Can you imagine, Mr. Speaker, that if I had retired, receiving the same $300 or $400 20 years from now, and the government now coming to give an increase 
of $500 20 years ago to 700 what would it do for us? And that creates an environment of instability. It creates an environment of industrial unsettlement and water view. The timely intervention by this government under the doctrine of putting people first has allowed us to realize that we are not just investing in the population today, but we are putting the future of our country first. Mr. Speaker, I have no doubt, and there is no one in this August chamber who would restrain by adding their support to this important bill. One may say it can be more. That can be a debate. One can say that it should have been a lot earlier. That's a different thing, but it's better late than never. And I thank God for the wisdom of the Prime Minister. I thank him for his heartfelt commitment to the people of St. Lucia. This 180,000 individuals won who reside on this beautiful island to do such an intervention. My dad has passed. He used to work at the Castro City Council. He was getting a pension benefit. It must have been about 200. I had an uncle of mine who passed recently. You know, here he's passed. You know. And once I asked him what is the income he worked with cable and wireless for many years, he was getting about 200. You know, when he passed, the family had to bury him. There are some people living a life as if it were normal for them. And therefore, the statistics of our poverty survey, and I encourage that every year when CDB comes to do, our, to do our country poverty survey, I support the investment in understanding where our population is as it relates to their vulnerability to the poverty data. But I know that though 100 persons immediately will benefit by the, from the increase, but it will set a new base for many St. Lucians to come down in the future. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, and thank you, members, for this investment.